Well, it's 1956 in an English suburban town. 1956 being, to my mind, the crucial year uh, when rock and roll first exploded uh, onto the scene in this country. Uh, and it was, strangely enough, the year when Roll Over Beethoven was, uh, was, was released. Um, and my idea was to tell the story of the coming of rock and roll uh, and the, the whole thing about um, how it gave energy to uh, the rebellion of youth and, and, uh, against the old grey, um, black and white kind of uh, uh, world of the, of, the, of the 50s, post-war uh, England. I actually wrote it uh, initially, the first version of it, about 10 years ago. Um, I just had this idea of writing a jukebox musical, basically you get a, a, you know, a, like a, a story which in my mind was maybe going to be the Hamlet story, find a bunch of rock and roll songs from 1956 and see how you could cram them together. Rock and roll um, to me was um, artists like uh, Marty Wilde and the Wildcats, um, Tommy Steele. Um, for goodness sake, and then of course Cliff Richard and the Shadows and people like that. I was not quite a teenager yet, but my older brother was, and he used to bring the records home, and it was some um, Jailhouse Rock, I think, was the was one of the first um, records he brought, brought up. The difference between it and, and maybe a conventional show, where you might have the actors on stage and the band in a pit, or, you know, a, a separate band anyway, is that, is that the, the the, uh, the actors are the band as well, so that the action comes in and out of the band all the time, um, uh, which, which I think is really exciting.